In this example, we're going to go ahead and integrate this expression here. We have e to the power of the square root of negative x, and of course that's with respect to x. If you'd like to try this on your own, go ahead and pause the video and do so, and then come on back and we'll work the solution together. All right, so looking at this, it seems like this is going to be a good candidate for a u substitution. And let's go ahead and make u that square root of negative x. It's that whole exponent up there. So when we differentiate both sides, we'll have du equals, and then it looks like the derivative of that will be negative 1 over 2 times that square root of negative x, dx. So let's solve for dx. We will multiply both sides by negative 2 and then the square root of negative x. So dx equals. So we'll have negative 2 square root of negative x du right there. Okay, so we'll kind of put that aside for a second. And let's go ahead now and rewrite this integral. Instead of being in terms of x, let's do it in terms of u. And so it'll be e to the u. And replacing this dx, we'll replace it with negative 2 times that square root of negative x du. Well, we have a little bit of a problem here. We still have an x here, even though we're trying to put things in terms of u. But actually, this is a very minor problem, because the square root of negative x was, in fact, our u. So let's go ahead and make this. It'll be a negative 2u times e to the u du. All right, so that's good stuff. Now it looks like, in order to integrate this with it being in terms of u now, it'll be a good candidate for integration by parts. And that formula typically uses u and v for its variables, but we already have u in use. So let's go ahead and maybe use a and b instead. So let me grab a different color pen and write that integration by parts formula. So it'll be the integral of a d b, and that'll be a b minus the integral of b d a. So we kind of just do a little switcheroo there. So we need to get an a and a d b from this uh, integral here. That will work nicely. So the a is what we're going to uh, differentiate. So it looks like this negative 2 u would be good because then we'll just have negative 2 du. And then the other part then, this eu, e to the u du, will be our db, which when we integrate, we'll just have e to the u. So I can now write this integral in this form. So it'll be ab, so these two guys multiplied together, so negative 2u times e to the u minus, and then bda, so e to the u times this guy. So we'll say minus 2 e to the u du. Well, one thing we can do quickly, it's this minus and this minus, so we can bring it out front and ultimately it will end up being positive here and plus there. And this is not too bad because this integral is just 2 e to the u, so the integral is actually just 2 e to the u. And we'll put our plus c there as well. So almost done, we have the integral completely done, but we're in terms of u, so let's go ahead and put our x's back in. So the u was the square root of negative x, so we have negative 2, and then we have the square root of negative x times e to the power of the square root of negative x plus 2 times e to the power of the square root of negative x plus c. Okay, so here is now our indefinite integral. We have our plus c there, and we used a combination of a change of variables with a u substitution and integration by parts as well. So we tackled this uh, not too bad integral, and here we go for our solution.